everyone, it's Splinter24. I am on again to do an overview of drugstore products for natural hair that are really worth your while trying. Um, I know that everybody does not have access to certain products that are being publicized in the natural world. And because of that, we can assume that everybody will use those products. It's just not feasible for everyone to be able to order online and do all of that. Now, um, the products that I have here, I have used time and time again. I really love them. I find them very convenient because they're on the ground. I don't have to order. I can just go into my drugstore and pick them up. So because of that, I thought I'd share with you. I've gone over products, a product review sort of like this before, but I think it's long overdue. That was some time ago and, you know, I know I've gotten a lot more subscribers who might be in the market for these products, whether it be you're on a budget, you're a student. I know that can be tough, y'all. Just and money can point. be tight. So here goes. All right. So one of my real favorite basic um, products for conditioner or shampoo is the VO5 line. Now, this is excellent. This is like dirt cheap, y'all. You can get this in the States for probably cents. 79 cents, 80 cents, a dollar. Here it's a little bit more expensive and you can hardly find these. You find them in a dollar store sometimes. My favorite one is the cleansing conditioner because I use that to co-wash, especially if I have buildup and I want to get rid of some substance on the hair. I use the cleansing conditioner, which is a green one. Um, but all of them are great. They are excellent. This is a moisturizing conditioner. This is the Free Me Freesha. And I absolutely love the whole line of VO5 shampoos or conditioner. And this is like great bag for not even a buck. Okay, so VO5 is one that I really like. Now, I just did a review on the Creations Gardens. Y'all know how I feel about that. This is a little bit more expensive. but you And one thing with drugstore uh, products, you can always get them on sale. So you can always save some money somehow. Um, some Most of the things that you find online do not go on sale. You know, the boutique products, I call them. Um, so I have the conditioner, the gel, and the leave-in conditioner. And I absolutely love this. This was the overview that I did before. Um, another thing that I forgot to add about the gel here, it does not flake. Um, I have not had that happen to me when I use it. Somebody asked me about that the last time um, on that video, and I forgot to mention that it doesn't flake. So, hey, really good. $8.99, you can get them for $50 off sometimes, or $25 off, $50 off, you get them for 5 bucks, and you're cool. 10 fluid ounces. Another line which I absolutely love is my Tresemme. And I used to use the other, the regular Tresemme line, the Curl Moisture, love that, but even better. And I never had buildup or any kind of, it had cones in it, but when they, in, and I loved it. Uh, when they do, did introduce the Naturals line, I jumped on it way after everybody else did. But I absolutely love this for what it does. It really is a great, you can use this as a leave-in, you can use this as a co-wash. It detangles, it moisturizes, I absolutely love it. And of course, there's the duo in the shampoo, which is actually really, really good also. Doesn't strip your hair. Love this, absolutely love this. Um, for what you get, this is like a 700 mil, which is quite a good, reasonable size. And these are usually about five to six dollars here in Canada. Again, you can get these on sale. Typically, I pick them up when they're on special. They are on special for like three, three and change. Yeah, so that's a good deal. One that I absolutely love for deep conditioning is this new Herbal Essence Honey um, Strong line. And I love this deep conditioner. This is so done. Um, I posted <laughs> a picture on Instagram on the finished bottle because I'm like I use this and I absolutely loved it it really moisturized my hair it does have cones in it though but despite that um, 
I can see y'all. <laughs> see, I got my glasses on and you all have to be looking at ingredients. Yes, people, no more stretching. Okay, so let me see. Cones is kind of in the middle of the ingredients list, sort of. But I love the stuff. It has a nice smell, slightly perfumey, but not too overwhelming. Um, it claims to really help dryness and damage and it gives you silky shiny locks and so on i found that it really moisturized my hair and i i mean this was like i got these i tried them because they were on sale and these this i got this jar 7.6 fluid ounces for like two dollars and something and I really love this. This is so worth you trying for a deep conditioner for your hair. So that's it. That's the Honey I'm Strong Rinse Off Treatment. Love this. And I will grab on this at some point when I'm in a rut. I just need to use it on some of my DCs now. Because, yeah, I need to get rid of some of those. So, the same line. I picked up the Honey I'm Strong Strengthening Conditioner. This is also really nice too. Moisturizing, great slip. Does have cones, of course, but again, it's in the middle of the ingredients line. And you know, it's it's really rich and creamy, and I love it just to have to use um, heavily, you know, because with conditioners, if you co-wash, you, you don't want to have restraint, you know. When something is cheap and less expensive, you can just use it waga waga. You know, you can just use it and slather it and do all what you want to do with it and not feel guilty about wasting your money. But the thing is effective. The thing does what it's supposed to do and it leaves you with really, for me, it left my hair moisturized and shiny, okay? And shininess is not a typical um, characteristic of my hair, but I find because I colored it, I, I do get a more shiny look. It's, it's supposed to be dark brown, but it does look black. But somebody asked me what I do to get my hair look so shiny. Nothing, y'all. It's just that the darker color kind of makes the light... The light reflects off of it and makes it look even more, um, what do you call it? No, shiny. Okay. Another thing is this. Garnier Fructis. Another deep conditioner. This I love. This is the instant repair, damage repair. Comes in this tube. I absolutely love it. It is great. It does have protein. So if you're protein sensitive, don't even go there. Um, another great price. Again, you can pick this up on sale, no joke. And you can get these for like $2, $3, depending. But this I really like. It's for damage and weak hair, which since our type, hair type is typically dry, I would suggest this because this is, um, it, it does fortify the hair and, and put back whatever, you know, if it's, it's, it's damaged or it's dry, it kind of replenishes the hair. So I love this one. Take note. Also love this one, which is the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine. I think I must have got this for a dollar in a dollar store or something. But this thing is a nice one. I love this one. It's called the Frisk Control Deep Treatment. It's the Silk and Shine um, line by Garnier. And it's, again, for frizzy dry hair. Love this. This is thing is almost like a mousse. It comes in a mousse-like bottle. And I expected it to come out moussey. But check this out. It is so creamy. It goes on and absorbs in your hair like liggity split. And it it's really effective. It is for, it does say it's a deep treatment. And I usually keep this in. It says to keep it in for like three minutes. But of course with deep conditioning, I just slap that on, put it on my hair and go about my business. And it could be an hour, two hours, depending on when I washed off. But I've had great results with this. Another one that's really moisturizing and seems to kind of put your hair in a, put it back, you know, kind of makes it feel nourished and all plumped and, and, and nice. Another thing which I wanted to show you guys, but I think I threw away my box, but I should be able to put a picture here. Is 
Yeah, the Garnet Herba Shine, Herba Shine um, color. Um, it's a box thing. It's a box color, and I really like it. I don't know what it is about it, but I just like the finish that it gives me. It makes my hair feel so good. It doesn't feel as if I have colored with a box color, and it's really quick. It's easy. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to kind of do the whole process. You put it in your hair, and it covers my grays, y'all, because when my grays start coming out, they really come out. And it's always at the periphery of my hair. I don't know why they don't stay back there. And in my, like, the part up top. So, great coverage for grays. I absolutely love it. Um, I tried it in the dark purple, which I love, uh, and in a more auburny color. But they all come out <laughs> like this. But I don't mind. I like darker hair sometimes. Um, yeah, so I love that one. And that's usually about $8, but again, you can get it on sale all the time. It's always on sale at Walmart, so when I do see it, I pick it up. Um, someone asked me about my henna usage. I think Miss Tanish, Tanish, um, I don't do henna as much anymore. I do still have some in my freezer. Y'all, the process, man, I don't know if it's just me just wanting everything to be quick, easy, Liggity split. I just can't. I, I, I can't. I have to be in the mood for henna because that's typically an overnight thing. And it's messing with my love life, y'all. I mean, I have my henna in my head. I mean, hopster ain't having it, you know. But it's not even that. I'm just kidding, y'all. But I'm just saying. You know, it's too much of a process. It's too much preparation. It's too much of everything. So the Herba Shine is what I reach for in between my hennas and I do love my hennas still y'all because it does have great um, a, a great effect on my hair but it's just that I, I ain't got the time y'all don't have the time so yeah I think that's it for my wrap up of my beauty products no of my hair products guys I might if you guys want to see me do a drugstore beauty product thing I can do that I think I'm going to do it anyway but let me know. I might, however, post that on my other channel, The Spintabulous Life, because that's more of about non-hair things. But, I mean, if you guys want to see it here, that's fine. I'll just post it here. Okay, so let me know. And, y'all, as I said, I got my new glasses, and I'm loving them. Um, it's a whole world out there when you can actually see stuff when you're reading and not fumbling around like you have no sense you know what i'm saying but again i'm on instagram all the deets on this is there and um for all more all other fun pictures and my carrying's on you can also check me out on instagram i'll put my uh link in the description bar um it's called at the spintabulous life make it all easy for you so take care guys and have a wonderful week i hope everybody is doing well and i'll see you guys soon bye